IBRI stands for cooperation. Sustainable values of the wetland. Good initiative for us. We need to learn from the other countries. Bring everyone together, working towards common goals. In the lower Mekong region, millions of people rely on wetlands for their survival. In recent decades, infrastructure development, expansion of irrigated agriculture, increasing deforestation and urbanization has resulted in the depletion of spawning and feeding grounds for fish, shrinking wetland habitats, and reduction of water quality. Farmers are increasingly affected by saltwater intrusion, landslides, and flash floods, which are intensified by climate change. The Ramsar Convention on Wetlands of International Importance is an international treaty for the sustainable stewardship of wetland ecosystems. Since its inception in 1971, it has been ratified by 169 countries, bringing more than 2,200 sites totaling more than 218 million hectares under its protection. At the moment, there is no mechanism for countries to cooperate on issues relating to wetland conservation and wise use. IBRI can fill a significant gap. The Indo-Burma Ramsar Regional Initiative was established to support cooperation and capacity building for wetland-related issues. In Cambodia, Lao PDR, Myanmar, Thailand and Vietnam, it fosters inclusiveness. It ensures that civil societies, organizations, local sites managers, academic and communities living in wetlands have an opportunity to participate in the dialogue related to wetlands management and wetlands conservation, can share their experience, but also have a say in decision making. IBRI's two main objectives are to support a coordinated implementation of the Ramsar strategic plan and facilitating transboundary dialogue and capacity building, promoting scientific and technical cooperation on wetland-related issues. IBRI fosters dialogue on wetlands and policies. Often, uh, Ramsar national focal points and, and Ramsar stakeholders have a tendency in focusing more on the site designation and site management part of the Ramsar Convention. Um, so we really want to, to trigger policy dialogue to ensure that the five countries improve uh, the legal framework and policy framework related to wetland and, and have um, an harmonized approach to it. By involving all relevant national and regional stakeholders from government, civil society, academic and private sectors, the IBRI Secretariat spoke with key IBRI stakeholders to find out how they viewed IBRI as a platform for collaboration. So IBRI will trigger partnership with other regional platforms. Uh, for example, the Mekong River Commission, which has an important wetlands component within its program, but also broader regional economic platform like the ASEAN. Um, so I think the role of the IBRI is really to put wetlands on the economic agenda and to shift a little bit the narrative from conservation approach towards um, sustainable growth through wetlands conservation. IBRI is very important to establish regional organization and also to raise funding for some projects that we should to support. It will provide a platform for the countries to work together in relation to wetlands where they can learn from one another. I would like to that IBRI can support us on the technical support and how to implement the LAMSA. The countries of IBRI, they share a lot of common issues, they share a lot of ecological connectivity. I hope that stakeholders from across the region will be able to work together to understand what other people are doing. There are various priorities of action for IBRI to help carry out, from activities at the national policy level to support countries to develop national wetland infantries, national wetland policies, and there's also a lot of actions at the ground level to support the work of the site managers in improving their management of the site. Many people don't understand clearly about the Ramsar site criteria yet. IBRI can provide us some capacity building Myanmar variety is to learn from the other countries because Myanmar is behind the other countries in the Ransa Convention implementation and weather conservation.
There's a lot of work being done to involve local communities in the management of Ramsar sites. The local communities really depend on the wetlands for their livelihood. I think you know, it varies from country to country. In the case like Cambodia, Ramsar site is uh, considered as a national protected area. In some countries, it's not a protected area. This is, can say, uh, one of the weakness. There's a disparity in how the different countries are implementing the convention. So there's lots of opportunities for one country to help help support another country to bring their capacity up to speed. IUCN is very pleased to act as the Secretariat for the IBRI and it aligns very well with its role as neutral convener and also its role as international organization partner for the Ramsar Convention. But through our facilitation we hope that organizations participating in, in the IBRI will be able to highlight their work and also to initiate new projects and new programs.